Hello, I have made this robot, and he swings, just like a human. That's not good enough, is it? Okay, let me do a quick explanation of how the swingman works. Uh, inside here is one RC servo doing this movement. These rods here uh, moves the legs uh, together with the chest part. There's one RC servo on the head, two LEDs for the eyes, and these arms are just uh, loose hinges by screws here. Inside here sits the brain. It controls the RC servos, the LEDs, and also it got a accelerometer and a gyroscope and combined these two are able to measure the angle. It's uh, no batteries inside, it's getting its power through these steel rods going up inside the pipe and to a slip ring, uh, making sure that you can have a full 360 degrees rotation. Because Swingman, we're gonna do a 360, right? Swingman started off by doing 120 degrees of swing. I added weights to his head, it increased to 200 degrees. I tuned the code, but whatever I did, he didn't want to go further up. Okay, I'm running out of ideas and motivation here, so I need to do what the proper YouTubers do. Oh, model rocket engine. That was all my problem. So glad to see you in one piece again, Swingman. Let's do another rocket. Ah, oh, come on. You'll be fine. at you you're all messed up oh you you lost your leg yeah okay let's do another one shall we
Ah, come on. Okay, Mr. Swingman, did you learn how to do 360 now? Okay, so you don't support machine learning, do you? The rockets were lots of fun, but I consider that solution as cheating. I searched the internet for 360 swings, but could not find anyone doing a sitting 360. Mostly it's humans standing up, and often they also have a counterweight on the opposite side. I want my swingman to do 360 while sitting down with no counterweight, but I'm starting to wonder if it's even possible. I then built swingman's ugly lab twin. All beauty was put aside. He got a faster servo, more head weight, and a longer stroke on his movement. I tested him and he did swing a tad better, but still it was far from 360. I had a chat with Galileo and watched the swing physics on YouTube. And finally, a brilliant man gave me a clue. Until now, Swingman was programmed to move at the end of each swing, laying down and rising back up. Adding weight to his head did increase the swing, as that increased the gravitational force working on him when leaning backwards. But that alone was clearly not enough to make the 360. The clue was to rise Swingman up earlier to also use the angular momentum to gain more speed. It's the same effect used by spinning ice skaters. I then implemented the power pump function and tested it out on Mr. Red. Come on, sorry man. Come on. Finally, I reached my goal with this project, and I quickly rebuilt the real swingman with a new servo and a longer stroke on the movement. And we all lived happily ever after. Hey, yo, swingman, say goodbye.